my sunglasses collection it is a vast there is there is no need there is no reason i i can't there is no reason why I... welcome to the african cocktail guys Mes amours, my name is Binja. I wanted to welcome you back. If this is your first time, go ahead. If you love what you see, click that subscribe button, like, share this video with somebody else who you think might be interested or might enjoy it. And if you're back here for a second or a third or a fourth or even a fifth time, guys, I am so excited that you're a part of the cocktail family. I would love it if you subscribed if you haven't already. And if you have, sit back relax and enjoy it i'm so excited that you're joining me on today's video guys i have an actual real life confession um so my vanity is what you see behind me and the reason i'm trying to like hide it from the world is because it is an actual mess um a lot of times if you follow me on instagram at african cocktail you will see me wear so many accessories my vanity holds I want to say like 90% of my accessories and oh child, it is a hot mess. I cannot, there's no excuse. Today I want to clean it out and I want to record a uh, trying of my sunglasses. A lot of you, I mean, I've probably been vlogging for about, I don't know, five or six years now and the number one request is always, can we see how many sunglasses you have can we see how many reading glasses you have so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you my sunglasses collection it is a vast there is there is no need there is no reason I, I can't there is no reason why I have these many sunglasses I'm just gonna put it out there as a caveat beyond the fact that I love sunglasses. I love a good pair of sunglasses. I'm no Jay-Z that wears sunglasses like in the dark. However, I will always have a pair of sunglasses with me in the car, at work. If I'm hanging out with my girlfriends at brunch, I always have a pair of sunglasses with me. Sunglasses usually just will elevate any look. And today, I definitely want to try on all my sunglasses for y'all. And then I also want to make sure that guys are able to go and purchase I will try and link as many of the sunglasses that I have as possible so that you two can go ahead and shop so that will be in the description box below but I think the first thing we probably should do is get to cleaning this vanity and once again do not judge me okay you don't know my life I hope that you enjoy watching this video I love um, shooting cleaning videos because for me it keeps me accountable in that I have to get my house in order in order to kind of have some good content for y'all but on the other hand like ain't nobody want a girl that's dirty like that's not attractive so I like to also just generally keep my spaces clean so today we'll be working on my vanity I'm currently in my bedroom I think I shot my earring collection um, yeah my statement earring collection in this room and Today we're gonna work on my vanity, guys. I'm just putting it out there. Don't judge me, okay? Let's get to cleaning. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I am going to be playing some music as I go because that's what I usually do when I clean. I'll either listen to a couple of my favorite podcasts or I'm gonna to listen to music. I think today it's not very sunny in Boston, so what I think I will do is probably play some African music to get me in the mood. So I want to get like a little bit of my shaku shaku going, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, we'll get to my sunglasses try on. Cool? <laughs> So at this stage, what I decided to do was to start sorting out everything that is on my vanity. I pulled out the Clorox, brought out the big guns so that I could get this surface cleaned. I will sort 
all my makeup from my sunglasses from my reading glasses and my jewelry and of course we took some time to bust out a couple of dance moves yeah I definitely have a good time when I'm cleaning For this next step, I cleaned out every single one of my lipsticks. As you guys can see, I have plenty of lipsticks and I store them on this gold mirrored tray. And I individually sorted out my lipsticks according to shade. So I put all my reds together, all my pinks together, all my blushes together, all my deeper tones, my mauves, my blues, um, all my type of lipsticks, I put all of those together. It was so satisfying to watch and to see how it all comes together. So enjoy. Alright, so now that we have all the jewelry sorted, we have all the makeup sorted, the next pile that we have to tackle are my sunglasses and my reading glasses. Oh my gosh, this was so daunting. But take a look and see how I ended up getting everything organized. So I am all done cleaning up my mirror, I'm done cleaning up the vanity, and what we're gonna do next is try on all of my favorite designer sunglasses. Now, these are sunglasses that I've probably collected over the last eight, nine years. Over nine years is how long I've grown my collection, and uh, clearly not all of it in a day <laughs> because they're very pricey, and they're all prescription sunglasses because even right now I'm wearing contacts, and I am not blind, but I, I like to know that I can see. How about that? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try them all on one by one, and I'll talk a little bit about what I love about the sunglasses. I'll talk about what it is that got me to buy the specific glasses if I made any modifications to the glasses to the sunglasses I should say I'm going to talk about all of that with you guys so that you guys have the 411 and then I will link as many as I can find um, in the description box below like I said I don't really know um, if all of them are gonna be available because some of them are usually seasonal especially with sunglasses like some styles are usually in vogue for one season and then for the next season they're gone so I'm going to link as many as I can find and then we can go from there okay <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start with my collection of um, Valentino sunglasses. So my very first pair are these sunglasses. And truth be told, 
these are probably some of my favorite sunglasses to wear they're so badass and take a look why I I am absolutely obsessed with the fact that you have the translucency um, on the sunglasses and then I also love that the frame is thin here and sometimes and you'll see with a couple of the ones that I have um, sometimes I like like a bigger hater blocker a pair of sunglasses however in this case I love these because these are so practical um, the gradient on these is not too dark um, but it's dark enough for you to have a little bit of mystery which I love with sunglasses and um, I also love the fact that these sunglasses in particular are some that you can literally just close up throw into your work bag and have them with you at all times so these are usually my go-to especially during the weekday when I'm driving to and from work um, in the summertime I have to have a pair of sunglasses and these ones these ones are definitely a favorite of mine the next pair are also Valentino there we go so these babies are what we would call hater blockers they're perfect for a sunny day at the beach they're perfect for vacation these are like my legit vacation sunglasses I love the golden V uh, for Valentino I just love the hexagonal shape I just think there's something so classy and classic about this pair of sunglasses so let's try them on here let me fluff my hair up and give you some holiday chic honey what I love these sunglasses I am so obsessed with them these are I am very rich sunglasses <laughs> these are the sunglasses you wear when you know that you were about to stunt on them I'm just saying these are the ones you pull these babies out and people are like oh she has money yes honey these are them these are them so I have them in the black and I also have them in this uh, tortoiseshell color as well and it's literally the exact same design so y'all don't come for me when I like something I like something but I figured these were gonna be different in that they're still very much my holiday sunglass vibe however you know the color stands out a little bit more everybody on a beach will have a pair of black sunglasses but only a few of us will be kicking it up a notch with this tortoiseshell color and I just love the classic V um, on the sides here I I'm a big fan of luxury brands do not get me wrong however I don't like brands that have the name everywhere you look unless it's like a t-shirt and that's the purpose of it or like a purse even a purse yeah. I, I am NOT a fan of it like fully calling out like look at me I'm wearing design like no that's not necessary so I got it twice and I like the detailing I like that it's subtle and if you know you know type thing which is the, the my favorite kind of luxury where I don't have to be openly in your face saying I have money you're able to deduce for yourself okay so then we're gonna look at my Prada collection so with the Prada I have a lot of the classic Pradas um, the classic Pradas will always have this spirally detail on the sunglasses which I, I absolutely love like they're the reason why I bought them because I, I must have been watching some movie and one of the actresses like took the sunglasses out and I was like ma'am come again with those glasses look at these just it's just so classic and the shape as well oh these honey do you see what I'm saying people do you see what I'm saying <laughs> I am a big fan of these sunglasses because just like with the Valentinos these are very much I'm a rich auntie vibes but they also have the subtlety of kind of being everyday sunglasses they don't have the extreme like size that the Valentinos have these are a little bit smaller in size and that makes them a little bit more approachable for day-to-day -day wear and that's what I love and I have these babies 
and I also got them in the square shape so long story short when I first saw the movie I saw the round frames and first went to the store and was looking for them these were not available although these were my very first choice so because I was so obsessed with the detailing I just got the I guess they're a bit rectangular and I don't wear these as often just because I'm not sure that they suit my face a hundred percent but I kill every pair I wear I'm just saying I don't buy a pair that I know I'm not gonna look good in yes she's cocky like that um, but these these are a fave I don't wear them often because I have the round um, frame that I was looking for to begin with but it's always nice to have in the back pocket so then I bought these are the Prada ones right here and these I love like I said I love anything that doesn't have too much um, call out of what the branding is these literally just say Prada on the side here and that's about as much of it as you get in terms of a call out that these are you know luxury branded um, sunglasses but I bought these because like with the Valentinos I needed sunglasses that I would wear when I go on vacation and you know bringing more than one pair is always welcome a girl likes options so these are my Prada sunglasses that I've had for probably a couple of years now and never regretted them they are what I call hater blockers so they definitely cover a good part of your face so next we're gonna look at um, Dolce and & Gabbana and these are my very first Dolce sunglasses now I I think I have Dolce reading glasses but I didn't have Dolce sunglasses and I recently got this these are my most recent pair probably before Rona happened and again same deal I love the shape they're a little bit cat eye -y. let me see if I can do this here as you can see I love the subtlety of um, there we go that's focused of just having the branding um, right on the sunglasses and then when you wear them this is what they look like hey girl so along with my I believe these are my Valentinos along with my Valentinos these have also become very much um, a staple for me when I am running errands I literally will like slap these babies on and go to the grocery store really quickly at like 7 30 in the morning when I'm trying to just not have any conversations they look on my face overall they sit really well they give you a little bit of the rich auntie vibes however they also still give you some approachability you're like okay she has money but like you know she can relate <laughs> that's what I get when I wear these so yeah man I like um, and we're almost done so two more pairs and starting with my oh my gosh I I was in Chicago last August for a wedding again I'll say it again I was in Chicago for a wedding I wasn't in Chicago for shopping you understand however you know the way one thing leads to the other I was walking down Michigan Avenue I saw one of my favorite sun, uh, sunglasses stores I was like let's go see once we saw we bought and then they delivered it to my house so what happened was I didn't really need these but they were in the store and I loved them and I knew they were not gonna have them in Boston so what do you do man you take advantage seize the day carpe motherfucking DM so I did and I picked up these Gucci's and oh I have never been more in love with a pair they are so cute I love oh no hold on let me refocus there we go they have um, the Gucci symbol up here on either side again subtlety is key people it doesn't have to be rapper level where it's like okay we get it you have money you have too much money because you're wearing Gucci like it's head to toe that's fine that's nice for you I'm happy ah why not conquer my friend but really did, did we all need to know that no so again I, I that's just my preference with luxury brands I don't like being ostentatious in the sense that oh you're going to know like no I like the when you know you know I feel like that's classier that's just me but 
let's go ahead and try these babies and you will see why different shape they are they also fill up a, a good chunk of my face but they're not like what my, my sunglasses that I call hater blockers these I love these are like my airport sunglasses because when I'm in transit and I am that type of person that likes to uh, take the first flight out and you'll know 5 30 a.m. is not conversation hour like I'm just trying to get through TSA and people be excited to see my hair black women I don't know I don't maybe it's an aura I give out and I I will continue giving it out however there are days when you just when you know you're just like I'm just trying to hit that plain seat and fall asleep and then people are just asking you 50,000 questions and for your firstborn and you don't want to engage so I throw these babies on and oh, I love them they're so practical they're so easy to wear they they're not pretentious in any way they're just like a nice pair of sunglasses and I like that this shape is you know in vogue a lot of a lot of companies make uh, sunglasses in this shape and I just liked that I could find a luxury brand that made them in this shape and in the price range that made sense to me and oh I did want to show you guys one more thing here with regards to subtlety again I told you I'm a big fan of subtlety these sunglasses as you guys can see they also have that little B that um, or is it a hornet? I don't know. They have a, 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 a little hornet on them that Gucci is associated with. And it's like those little clues. You don't have to, again, have the whole thing say Gucci on it. That's, that's not my vibe. Um, and then my very last pair. Is it my last? We'll go with last pair. Mm -hmm. We'll go with last pair. My last pair are these Mew Mews. Oh, let me tell you how I lost my mind at the store when I saw these babies. I believe Mew Mew is like Prada's baby sister type thing. I believe they're in the same family, but y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and these are the sunglasses. Guys, do you see how just, I think it's the simplicity of these sunglasses that just continues to blow me away. I love the golden framing of them. I love the bridge is also gold. Oh, my whole Congolese self just gets excited with these sunglasses. Um, let's take a look, see here. Oh, guys, guys. It's, isn't it just like an effortless chic? And that's all what we want. It literally is so effortless wearing these sunglasses. In my opinion, if, you, if you're looking to buy a pair of luxury brand um, sunglasses, always go for understated elegance. For me, that means that I can see and I can tell that the brand is, for example, in this case, Valentino, without it having to be shouted from the rooftops, because ain't hey, nobody needs that level of attention. Um, and then also just look for sunglasses that make sense for your face. I mean, I usually stick with cat eye, round, and then a little bit of a hexagonal shape. So I try to stay within those parameters. I think I've only shown you one pair that were rectangular. I really don't stray from um, the shapes that I just mentioned because I know that those are the shapes that work for my face. I have a little bit of an oval face and so I stick to what I know and it's clearly a winning formula because I love every single pair. I always get compliments and if you guys want to shop and grab your own pair, you've seen a pair that I have that you guys want to try on, go forth and conquer. You are welcome. Uh -uh, are we not here to help each other? Conquer. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, my try on and uh, you liked some of the luxury sunglasses that I wear and if you try them on your own and you go and buy please tag me at African Cocktail I would love to see what you look like and I would love to know that um, you grabbed a pair uh, from the suggestions that I had made and uh, so what we're gonna do now is get back to cleaning up my vanity damn it oh my gosh this video is never going to end so let me go get music playing again and then I will get my vanity sorted so that you guys can have 
the finalized view. I think that's it. Let's go. <laughs> to be done and to get out of these clothes oh my god I'm so hot I wanted to talk through what you're going to see on my vanity I know it's not like your typical blogger vanity where everything is like minimalist and like stored away I like to see where my things are I mean I get it's nice to be able to have everything kind of stored away in like nice little shelves and eventually when I buy my own home absolutely that is the way I'm gonna go but for the moment I live in an apartment and honestly I'm the type of person that likes to see what they have so that I just don't go out and buy duplicates if that makes sense um, so today I'm gonna walk you through what's on my vanity I'm super excited I've never done anything like this before my vanity is one of my favorite places in my room and switch things around and hopefully it makes sense all right let's do it <laughs> so if I can grab this really quickly I want to start with my <laughs> incredible collection of sunglasses so what I did was I have all my sunglasses down this row And then I have all of my reading glasses down this particular row. And I know we didn't talk through these. We'll have to catch up on these a different day. But as you can see, I have a plenty of reading glasses. I'm a big fan of eyewear. And then up here, I have a mixture of my um, sunglasses, my luxury sunglasses, as well as a couple of outliers like these guys here that are just um, non-prescription not luxury sunglasses as well we have um, my perfumes and uh, I recently got this Coco Chanel one for my birthday my awesome friend Janet actually gifted that to me and then I have a couple of Zara perfumes because I do like what their scents smell like and they're very low cost which again I am a girl who's about her dollar, so I definitely gravitate towards the scents, um, and the price is also un unbeatable at that point. Okay, so then I go into my lippies. I am a huge fan of uh, lipsticks. I always will be rocking a lipstick if you follow my Instagram, if you follow my blog, I always have lipstick going, and this is how I actually store all my lipsticks. I store them by shades, so I have all my reds in one section, I have all my pinks in another section, and then I have my nudes, I only have a couple of those, and then I have my darks and my, you know, my fantasy shades as I like to call them up here, and then as you guys can tell I guess from this, I am a big fan of red lipstick, and I usually have um, the Maybellines, I have a couple of, oh, actually back here, I have a couple of Beauty Bakery um, in this back row here. And then I have my favorite lip glosses are by this company called Labello, and that, that's them right here. This is my favorite company, Labello. They make 
oh such great lip glosses if you're looking for something that's gonna be long wearing all day lip wear like i know drunk elephant this is a drunk elephant um that this is their lip balm hold on let me see if i can get this focused so that's the drunk elephant lip balm but in all honesty it it pales in comparison to what you get when you're using the labello lip stuff um so i have all my lip stuff lined up on both of these areas as you guys can see here i actually recently discovered molten brown and this was from my friend rachel she i believe may have forgotten it here while she was visiting rachel i have your lip stuff and honestly inspired me to try it it's a molten brown lip saver oh my god it is so freaking good and long wearing as well so if you're looking for new lippies to try that are just glosses or bombs or just long wearing lip stuff when you're not trying to wear any lipstick those are your best deals here and then i have my eyeshadow palettes i have some highlighters and then i have a mixture of my hand cream some of my favorite hand creams they smell so good that's my avena hand cream as well as um my foundations these are a couple of them that i keep here these are just some of my um backup foundations i have the ones that i usually use in the bathroom and then these are my makeup brushes i usually just keep them in a box i'm, I'm not a huge makeup girl i don't have thousands and thousands of products i just have the bare essential then that's it i have my um, nail polishes there a lot of them i think are l'oreal but i don't really polish my own nails i prefer to get them done and now with the rona <laughs> i haven't had them done in like two three months so whew, i can't wait for rona to open up so i can get my nails done oh before i forget back here i have um my pre-moistened towelettes here and i get them from lens crafters this is actually where i get a lot of my um sun, my prescription sunglasses and reading glasses from lens crafters in boston and they're i think they're all over the country if you live in the states they should have a couple of locations um the gucci sunglasses that i showed you i got them from the lens crafters location in chicago but i have as you guys can see a ton of towelettes that I always pack with me so that I'm not cleaning my glasses with like fabric because it's gonna scratch the coating that I have on my sunglasses and on my reading glasses and they're pretty pricey and I want to you know use them for as long as I can so I use the moistened towelettes okay so we're gonna get into my jewelry section which I am obsessed with I love these bangles these bangles were actually gifted to me by my friend Bansri she's Indian and she went to India one year and I think for as long as I had known her I had asked her to get me um, bangles from India and finally she went and literally like went all the way in and got me a whole bunch of them which love 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 not only do they look pretty they're actually some of my favorites and then I have some bangles that I've I think I've had these silver ones I got these when I was in Congo so I've probably had them over 10 15 years at this point and they still look good and then I have my Alex and Annie bangles down here um, I have some that are actually from my alma mater shout out Northeastern there we go so you can see my husky paw love those uh further down here i have some of my dangly earrings and i love this because it's almost like a rainbow of everything that i have and i just wanted to highlight a couple of pieces i got these from my good friend nicole fischera she's a local gosh i don't even know she wears so many hats she's an architect by training a jewelry designer by passion I guess I can say and these are some of her creations those are her creations oopsie as well as these babies these are also her creations and I wear them all summer long they're some of my favorites absolutely absolute favorites and then I have a couple more dangly earrings up here I have some of my gold bracelets over here my hoop earrings um, I have those here let's see if I can focus there we go and then moving back oh I don't know if I can get to the bottom down here if y'all can see but those are my um, 
bracelets. I got those from my auntie in Kenya. She sends me almost every year or every two years, she sends me a little care package with like some beaded uh, jewelry. And those are some of those bracelets that she got me. Let's see if I can actually pull one out and show you. They're so intricate. I, I love her, she's one of my favorites. Look at how gorgeous that is, right? She's so great, I love her. Auntie Rachel, if you ever see this, you're the best. Um, and then here I have my cute little Swiss car. I love grabbing souvenirs when I travel and this is one of those souvenirs that I always bring with me. Um, see that? I got this guy from the airport in Switzerland. I think it was in like 2016, so it's been a while. And then this is my probably oldest jewelry storage piece that I have. And as you can see, inside I keep some of my rare pieces, like my beaded earrings. These are on this um, revolving, almost like a little hanger. And I hang all of my you know one of a kind pieces up here as you guys can see and then I have some that I got gifted by friends like these I got from a friend in Ghana let's see if I can bring you guys in here so you can really get a good view there we go and then these a lot of these I got from like my aunt that I'm saying um, in Kenya and then I have some of my favorite studs I don't really wear these too often and then further down here I have my beaded bracelets and some of my waist beads so i have those in here oopsie let's go ahead and close that out properly there we go and then i use these jewelry stands um these two tier jewelry stands and this is just a one tier jewelry stand love those this one has a marble base this one also has a marble base but it's a little bit more faux than the other and here in this mess that you see are all my studs, literally all my studs. It is a hot mess, but I haven't found a good system to get my studs looking the way they should, or at least in a good storage um, system for them. So if you have any suggestions, please, please holla at your girl. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my vanity.